So we're talking to Tom again, and he's got, got some things to say about the financial crisis. Haven't yeah, you, Tom? The only thing is the world is now being run solely by a, a clique whose only knowledge really is surrounding money as a product. All the other people involved in the productive system, where, peop- where there is work for people, apart from those counting the money in the banks and the finance companies, the, these people are not uh, considered at all. All the people from the trades level, the technician level, and the professional level. Nobody understands it. This country got rid of the, the work of two wonderful men, James Fletcher, the industrialist, and Ernest Marsden, the scientist. Both had world reputations, but the James Fletcher put the Ministry Works together in 1943 after running the, the country's building and construction industry during the war for the government. He said you needed a separate department, Ministry Works. And then, likewise, Sir Ernest Marsden put the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research together, and both of these men, all their structures were hardly existing in the capital city, but they had divisions, both in the Ministry Works and in the DSIR, all up and down the country. Excuse me, Tom, would you like that coffee now? Please, please. But today, we, we do not have anything. And the, the regulation that uh, both the Ministry Works and the DSIR used to have over the scientific and technological structures of this country, it's all disappeared. And I like them. Brian Edwards, Brian, sorry, Brian Easton the other day said in a Dominion article that the, the leaky buildings, leaking buildings, leaking and rotting schools, and now leaking and rotting hospitals are going to cost much more than the Christchurch earthquake. So what a country we've got. If there's any family out there who's got capital, or young men with talent and qualifications swap, swap their Rugby World Cup tickets for a flight out of the country to better opportunities. And with this dismal message, I say, tata.